Hello and welcome to Photography with Emery, and that would be... So today I want to throw together a quick uh, show for you because I haven't done a video in a little bit while, I've been busy, but nonetheless I did want to do a quick one and it has to do with the zoom trick, kind of the uh, photographs like this. Or like this. So that's the idea behind uh, this uh, episode that I'm going to do. It's really easy to do actually and I'm going to show you some of the settings that I used to create some of those shots. Alright, so I'll just begin quickly by saying, of course, this effect is created by zooming your lens in or out. And if you use a tripod, obviously you have a more stable platform, and it also frees up both of your hands to zoom or do whatever. Now, if you're holding your camera in your hand, kind of walking around, that works too. Just remember, you will need a little bit of practice because you might get a little jittery and you might not get, you know, exactly the effects you want the first few shots. But this is definitely something, even for me, it takes, you know, several shots just to get that right look that I want. But it's a nature of the beast in this case. Now, not only is zooming of your lens important, but so is timing it just right when you're hitting the shutter button. Here are a couple of ways I do this, but remember to experiment as you may find something that works even better in your case. The first method I'll present is really simple. Of course, I start off by framing the subject I want to shoot. Then, just before I click the shutter button, I start to zoom my lens. Immediately after I've started zooming, I then click the shutter button and continue to zoom until the exposure completes. Keep in mind, this whole procedure probably doesn't last longer than about half a second in reality. The second method involves using the mirror lockup feature, assuming your camera has it. And by the way, some manufacturers use different names such as anti-shock, as you can see on my Olympus E3. Normally, this feature is used for long exposure shots, where the mirror is flipped up well before the shutter is opened. This allows for any small vibrations from the mirror being slapped up to dissipate before taking the exposure, which can help prevent some blurriness from appearing on the photos. For this type of shot, I usually set the lockup delay to 2 seconds, which gives me a little time to prepare for the zoom. You may find this method a bit more stable than the first, because you're not both zooming and clicking the shutter button at almost the same time. Regardless of the method used, the end results should be more or less the same. And now let's take a look at some settings. The photos you see throughout this episode were taken with a shutter speed of around 1 8th to 1 25th of a second with the aperture at f22 for shots with abundant light and f7.1 for shots without as much available light. I personally find that if the shutter speed is too fast, then the zoom effect is all but lost as the shutter is just not open for a long enough time period to expose that movement. And if the shutter speed is too slow, then I found that instead of getting streaks, I just get a fairly blurry image. With this said, you can probably tell that not one single setting will do the job, and your best bet is to experiment. In my particular case, to slow the shutter speed down, I adjusted the size of the aperture with my camera being in aperture priority mode. But there's nothing stopping you from using shutter priority, where you can set the shutter speed to whatever you like, and let the camera worry about the aperture. Or, of course, you can use full manual mode. In addition, as I took these shots outside on a sunny evening, I reduced the sensitivity to ISO 100. But remember, you can also reduce the amount of light entering your lens by using filters such as a polarizer or a neutral density ones. And once you've gotten the hang of it, I think you'll have a bit of fun with this effect. Remember to try zooming both in and out, and feel free to add some movement in there too. For this shot of the pine tree, I started exposing at the bottom and quickly panned up as I zoomed. All right, I hope you enjoyed uh, that episode and you'll have a little fun with the zoom trick. And uh, yeah, it's not that hard to do. And on my blog, I'll write a tad bit more about it. And uh, hopefully I'll find a few links uh, for it as well. And of course, do subscribe so you can stay up to date to all the goodies that I do. And of course, I've got Facebook and Twitter. Links are off my blog to make it easy for you. So I certainly hope to see you next time. Take it easy. All right, I hope you enjoyed that episode and you'll have a little bit of fun with the zoom trick. And of course, on my blog, I will write a little bit about uh, this trick. Uh, and as I'll just go from here. Okay. Hmm.